I am grumpy. Me and my six brothers and Snow White all live together. But it's so cramped. Ugh. And I just work so hard that even my shoe has got a massive hole in it. So much that my sock comes out the bottom. So I went to the shoe maker. But all of the shelves, there were no shoes. The shoemaker said, oh, I'm sorry, I haven't got any shoes, I'll make you some for tomorrow. Ugh, fine. So I went back the next day, stomped my way there. Where are the shoes? And the shoemaker said, I'm sorry, I got really tired, I was really asleep, and I've got no materials. <gasps> I thought, what? There. Silly shoemaker, I can see some on the shelf, but they're so big. They really there for a giant. Tomorrow, I'll come back. So the next day, I marched my way up to the shoemaker. Where are my shoes? And the shoemaker said, Oh, I'm sorry, I fell asleep. I was exhausted. I just lost track of time. Ugh, I thought. Look, there are some shoes there. Some glass slippers. They're beautiful, not suitable for me, because I work outside, so I need some sturdy boots. Ugh. I'll come back tomorrow. The shoemaker said, OK, thank you, I'll make you some shoes for tomorrow and I'll give you them then. Ugh. So the next day, I marched my way back to the shoemaker, and I was shocked. All of the rows of shoes, shoes for elves, for witches, for teenagers... And there, there were some perfect shoes for me. <laughs> Thank you. But the shoemaker looked shocked, looked around and saw so many different pairs, said I didn't make them. Well, if you've been just lazy, you should be ashamed. Whoever made those shoes, you should give them a present to say thank you. That's what you should do.